This is the final result. Lighting, atmosphere, and details that make the street feel real. Hello, everyone waving and. This is the final episode of the street chapter, and our goal is to push the scene to this exact level of realism. The first thing we do is add an HDRI backdrop. After enabling its plugin, we can access it easily. I chose a Cloudy Sky HDRI from Polyhaven and imported it into the project. Next, we add the HDRI backdrop to the scene. To make sure it properly surrounds the environment, we increase its size. Then we assign our HDRI to it. And as you can see, with just this step, the lighting of the scene improves dramatically. In the skylight settings, we switch the mode to SLS Specify Cube Map and assign the same HDRI there as well. So the skylight lighting is also driven by it. You can rotate the HDRI to adjust the direction of the sky and clouds, or tweak its intensity to get the mood you want. Asphalt Material Tweak Now we fine-tune the asphalt material. By adjusting the roughness, we create more convincing light reflections on the ground, and you can clearly see how much this affects the realism of the scene. High-quality assets Believe it or not, asset quality is one of the most important factors. Using high-quality assets instantly pushes your scene closer to realism. For this tutorial, to save time, I imported a few buildings from Sketchfab with a similar style to the ones we modeled and replaced the previous buildings with them. Fog and depth. To separate the background mountains from a city, I add a local fog behind the buildings. By adjusting radial fog density and height fog density, we can control its strength. This helps the mountains blend more naturally into the scene instead of popping out unnaturally. Glass and surface details. For better windows, we use the free advanced glass material pack from the Fab Marketplace. It includes everything from clean glass to dirty and broken variations, all fully adjustable in color, roughness, opacity, and more. As mentioned in the previous episode, the more smart details you add to buildings, the better the final result. You can even add grime decals to break up surface uniformity. Foliage and street props. Using foliage, we scatter leaves and trash near sidewalks and buildings to add life to the scene. Be careful with scale and density. Random distribution should feel natural, not uniform.
I also add assets like a traffic sign pack and roadside construction props to enrich the street. Fire hydrants. Traffic signs. Street lights. You can even boost the light intensity of street lamps to enhance the atmosphere. We also use assets like street damage meshes and construction barriers. If you add cars, try not to keep them perfectly clean. Adding decals makes a huge difference. Final lighting and camera polish. In the camera settings, we slightly boost image effects, then fine tune contrast, gamma, and saturation to match the new lighting. To better showcase the clouds, we reduce the HDRI intensity. You can open the HDRI texture itself, lower its brightness, and slightly boost RGB values. We also fine-tune the sky light intensity. Finally, by adjusting the directional light's angle, intensity, and size, making it larger for softer shadows. And adding one more local fog, we achieve the final cinematic look. And that's how we bring the street scene to life. All right, everyone, we've reached the end of the street chapter. In the upcoming chapters, we'll be creating even more exciting scenes in different genres, pushing the quality way beyond what you saw here. We'll be using higher quality assets, and even better, we'll be building many of them from scratch. So make sure to stay tuned for the next tutorials, support the channel, and if you enjoyed this series, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot.